Hi, it's a new video. How are you? Uh, <laughs> I just came back from work. Hi, everybody. I came back from work and I picked up a couple of things for food and for um, just the house. And I thought it would be a good idea for us to start our vlog this way. Um, also picked up a couple of books. Now, the books was maybe three weeks ago, so really they've just been sitting on my kitchen counter. And Tandy's so sweet, she'll clean my kitchen counter, she'll remove the books, wipe down, and then put them right back there. So I think maybe she thinks I'm supposed to give them to someone, or I don't know. But it's fine. I'll show you all of that. Um, but I haven't picked up a camera. I, I've just made myself a, a lunch. Um, but I haven't picked up my camera since the girls trip, which is, um, I released yesterday when you watch this, I released a video yesterday or the day before yesterday. I'm not quite sure. Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. So yesterday. Um, so that was the last and that was two weeks ago. That was the last time I recorded that was two weeks ago. And the week after that. Um, I was busy, make a chagile, okay? I was visiting uh, somebody, so I couldn't, I didn't want to film uh, that whole weekend, not couldn't film, I didn't want to film that whole weekend. Um, uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit later because my friends have been on my ass about the somebody business. Um, so now what's happening is I am off work tomorrow. It is three o'clock today. <laughs> it is three o'clock right now. And I'm off work tomorrow, which gives me time to actually record, which is fantastic for me because I now go into the office every single day. So it's, it's really a bit of a problem for me, um, given that I need to go into the office every single day in terms of recording. So I really struggle. And over the weekends, I try to spend time with my family, my friends, my person. Um, so I have today, I've got tomorrow off work because they're doing some sort of maintenance in the area that because of that, we won't have electricity. So there's no sense in me going into the office tomorrow. So I will be able to manage my time in between work and all of that to actually record tomorrow, which is fantastic. And then today, bought a couple of things which i will show you just now it isn't really a grocery haul it's just things that i was short of and i went to go pick them up because today i really feel like having a prosciutto pasta there's a pasta that i normally do which is a cream pasta even though i'm going to have it uh with um store-bought cream from woolies and on whole wheat as opposed to normal pasta uh, because wow, good sis has um, <clears throat> just, yeah, it's a lot going on. Um, so I'm really watching what I eat now and that's fine. What I eat is never really a problem. It's what I'm drinking. That's a problem. Um, so anyway, I am going to show you what I got. I'm thinking of making that prosciutto pasta or... I will um, make a bougie bowl. I'm also feeling like making a bit of a bougie bowl, but with pork. I cooked yesterday some uh, pork chops that are deboned and I have that left over so I can just chop that up and add it to the bougie bowl. We could do it that way, um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll just see how the day goes. There's just so much that I need to inform you on or catch you up on. Um, and I feel much better, of which you can tell. Thank you very much to everybody who sent messages of encouragement. And, you know, we'll be here when you come back, whatever. I really have slowly uh, started to climb out of the hole that I was in. I feel so much better. So that's exciting. Um, so... I don't know if this vlog is going to be filmed over a day because I've already been speaking for four minutes. Who am I? So, the generic stuff is this. I went to my Woolies close to me yesterday 
at around one, they had no spinach left whatsoever. And I said, what? And then they say, you have no idea. People come in here in the morning and they take like four packs of these and each and it's wild. So it makes sense because there is a restaurant, a cafe in the same complex. So it kind of makes sense. So I got the spinach and then I picked up some herbs because I, I'm not quite sure what I want to cook as yet. Um, so I've got basil here and got coriander here and then I've got some parsley as well so I'm gonna try and use these quite a lot uh, this week because this stuff spoils in my fridge and so yeah then I have some salad Mediterranean cucumbers here uh, got some avocados because I wasn't sure if I'm doing the, uh, the bougie bowl and this is the thing for the bougie bowl i am thinking of adding soya ramen noodles now it doesn't quite make sense for a buddha bowl to have ramen noodles it's normally you, you have different types of but not necessarily ramen and i realized that when i left um but it's fine we're just gonna add uh noodles a little bit of noodles maybe half this pack so not too much maybe half this pack and then have the other half tomorrow for lunch or something see how I've got plans uh, but we'll see depends on what I want to cook if I want to do the prosciutto pasta then I'll have to just use uh, normal whole wheat linguine or spaghetti I don't know we'll see how it goes right and then popped into checkers which is where I picked up the prosciutto. So this is prosciutto. Probably use half of that. Yep, probably use half of that, which is fantastic. That's fine. Then I picked up some parmesan shavings. Of course, it would work well whether with the with the with the salad or with the push. It that it doesn't matter. And then lastly, out of here is mozzarella. Uh, cheese from Lanswood. Now, and then last out, I popped into Home Etc. Now, Home Etc, as you know, sells kitchen stuff, right? Plates, kitchenware, all of that stuff. The reason why I went into Home Etc is because I haven't updated my pasta dishes in a while. The dish itself, not a, a recipe, right? Uh, I haven't updated them in a while, and I do have three that are for normal everyday use uh, that I picked up from at home years ago. And then the other ones that I have are fancy ones from Carol Boyce, which I, I don't use just willy nilly in the house. It's not, it's not a vibe unless I'm feeling very special and I want to romanticize my life that day. And um, sure, or I have somebody over or whatever, then sure, I'll use my slightly more priced more expensive uh, cutlery and all of that, but I needed new ones for every day. And I feel like the other ones I'll probably give to my sister and I didn't need to buy more than three because three served me right. So I went into uh, at what home, etc. Should have gone to at home as well, but and picked up these. And the nice thing is they were on special absolutely love them and not only that not only that they were on special but not only that they're deep they're proper pasta bowls a lot of the time you'll get the ones that kind of you know they 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 come at an angle but they're not as deep right so these ones are proper rounded and deep and the color amazing so uh it's beautiful it's beautiful i just love how it looks and it doesn't have perfectly rounded edges which is nice they are smooth but it's almost like it was done with a clay um you know in in, in um not poetry what is it in pottery classes how they use that that molding thing yeah so it's the the edges don't come out as smoothly rounded but they have a more homemade design to them which is beautiful and they are nice and deep so i typically like to put the pasta in the middle and then put anything else around there or sauce or whatever so love it so i got three of these and i got each one for 70 bucks so it came down from 120 to 70 bucks 
How do you like that? How you like me now? So I got so got these three. Look, look, as you can see, you see how the colors aren't even exactly the same. That's how I feel like they are probably handmade, handcrafted. Nothing that says it. But they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, I love them. Let's get on with it. So I'm gonna pack this stuff away, finish off my lunch. Finish off my lunch and then we'll sit down and talk about the book that I'm reading, the two books that I'm currently reading, uh, because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna match my book goal for this year. I don't see it happening. Uh, and then the two that I did pick up from exclusive, one from exclusive books and one from bargain. So let's get on with it, shall we? Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. Okay, so for my drink, I'm sitting on a tiny blanket, and here are the books. There's only two new books here. The other two books are these ones. Uh, it's Tuesday, and I'm having a drink. Why? Because Thursday is my sister's birthday, so we can start celebrating like literally from Monday. Um, and you know what the funny thing is? My sister just put up a tweet talking about her wish list for her birthday which is ridiculous she's asking for things like porsches and <laughs> it's obviously a joke um but one of the things that is on that wish list is what i got her and i had to tell her just in case somebody else decides to buy that for her so i told her so i got her um champagne glasses from carol boys because i love carol boys because almost a lot of things in my kitchen are from Carol Boys. Um, so I know that she drinks a lot of champagne and I know she doesn't have halfway decent champagne glasses. <laughs> and the ones that I will, that I picked up for her, I'll put here so you can see what they look like. They are the newer ones, which have the thicker stem. They're so pretty, but I already have like six Carol Boys champagne glasses. So there's no sense in me buying. Uh, new champagne glasses. It's just a waste of space, really. Um, so, and I don't drink champagne that much, so it just doesn't make sense. But she asked for ridiculous things like a Porsche McCann, and <laughs> those are obviously just jokes, but there's some other things that she, she, that she asked for or she put on her wish list that are great, that are, that are great things. So, Anyway, that's what I got my sister for her birthday, which is in two days, and I'm going to be spending half the day with her on her birthday, which uh, I'm very, very excited for, I'm looking forward to. In terms of the books, oops, sorry. In terms of the books, um, to all the readers, this is your portion of the vlog, because I try and entertain everybody. I try and have everybody feel comfortable, you know? Um, so for the readers, these are the two current books that I am reading. Um, I, I'm doing really badly. I'm doing very, very badly in terms of uh, keeping up with my reading goal. My goal was 35 books or something. I think I'm only on 23. And uh, I do not see myself getting to over 10 books by the end of December. But things could... Hey! think my December could look pretty good and relaxed and I could do a lot of reading so who knows but um as you guys know for the last month 
and a little bit um things have just really been mentally not okay for me and reading was just it was not happening uh but the book that i am reading now this one i started today so the book that i am reading now that i am over halfway through is transcendent kingdom by yagiasi now let me say something i really love yagiasi's writing her writing is impeccable it's so good it just flows it's easy to understand um almost even lyrical in some points and very symbolic um and her storylines are just they they're really really top tier i just struggle with keeping the book in my hands when I read a Yagiyasi novel. Um, this happened with Homegoing. That's why Homegoing, I did not rate, uh, I didn't rate it highly because uh, I think I rated it a three and a half out of five because I just struggled to keep the book in my hands. It wasn't a page turner. However, her books are really great in character development, in atmosphere. You can actually read um intense intense moments sad moments and you can feel it and you feel for the characters and um and their struggle or what they're going through or their happy moments all that kind of stuff so she's really good with things like that character development and atmosphere um this one follows the life of gifty who is a scientist uh who does bio something she basically works with mice and she wants to in her job she wants to uh be able to tell why um why the the instant reaction that um someone or something rather in this case the mice will go back to wanting food or water after they've been electrocuted because she does this thing blah blah with the experiment where she electrocutes them every time after. it's not like a bad like anyway it's scientific bro like i can't even explain it but she gets into the line of work uh when it comes to science um because it's largely based on what happened to her brother so she loses two family members um her brother and her father and she uses her love for science and her love for, um, you know, her family and the members of her family who are now not in her life in some aspects. Um, she uses that to be able to make deductions of why the brain does what it does. Um, and it's very, very interesting in that regard. Uh, but she's also going through struggles with her mother who is, um, going through a mental health struggle, which is, which is another thing that I want to read more on, but everything else, it's just really, really hard to pick it up. Um, and I also feel like maybe I picked it up at the wrong time. I'm not going to explain these two because then we'll be here all day. But I feel like I picked it up at the wrong time because I was just trying to get out of something that's mental health related. And now I'm reading about mental health struggles, you know, uh, from her family, some of her family members and all of that. But it's really, really good. So far, it's impeccably written. I just want to finish this. I really just, I want to finish it. It's such a short book that I feel like, why am I dragging? But I just also haven't had the time. And it's because a lot of stuff has been happening, which we'll talk about just now. Um, then, the second one, which I started today at work because we had load shedding thanks escom we had load shedding at work uh for two hours and i couldn't necessarily do what i wanted to do because a bulk of the work that i had done that didn't require online access and all of that i had done the day before so hmm, i just thought okay let me pick this up. This was actually sitting in my office. I don't know why it was in my office because this I had left at home. So I don't know why it was in my office, but I picked it up and I am 10 pages in. I only literally read it for all of 10 minutes, I think, or less than that. But I'm 10 pages in and this one follows the life of Benson and Mike, who are a gay interracial couple. And... um they uh, essentially the story opens with mike having to travel to osaka japan 
I remember. <laughs> we were in Osaka when we went to Japan. Okay, we actually, yeah, never mind. Uh, Mike has to travel to Japan because he, uh, of his ailing father, who he wants to see before it is time that he is handed over to God and the angels. I'm going to put it that way. But while Mike is traveling to Japan, Mike's mother is coming to the States. And Mike asks Benson to sit, to you know, spend time with the mom. The mom will be staying with Benson. So there's a whole lot of dynamics, family relations, dynamics, uh, relationship in relations. So I've only read, I didn't read much of the back. Um, something about transformation happening, discovering the truth about his family and his past while back home, Mitsuko and Benson. Mitsuko is Mike's mother and Benson are stuck living together as an as unconventional roommates. So this is exciting. I'm looking forward to reading this. It is a um, literary fiction novel. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And I absolutely love that cover. Easy. Love that cover. And then two books that I got from uh, three weeks ago or so. Um, I got these from Bargain Books. And exclusive books. This is uh, The Burning Girls by C.J. Tudor. Now, the reason why I picked up The Burning Girls by C.J. Tudor is that I wanted to read something that's gonna... And I feel like that's why Yao Gyasi's book wasn't the best to start with. I wanted to read something that's gonna make me keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, and normally thrillers do that for me. So... I've always been wanting to pick this up, but the starting price for this was ridiculous. It started at 360 something and I picked it up for 200 bucks at, um, bargain books. Eventually, thank the good. I'm actually, no, I picked it up for at bargain books. It was 263 and in exclusive books, it was from exclusive books. It was, um, 200 bucks. So I picked this one up. I'm not going to tell you anything ab about it. All I'm going to read are these three lines. 500 years ago, eight martyrs burned. 30 years ago, two teenagers vis vanished. Two months ago, a vicar died mysteriously. So already you can tell there's religiousness going on in this. Uh, religious patriarchy might be a thing. That's all I'm going to read. There is a little bit at the back, but I'm not going to read that. I like to go into thrillers going like a little bit blind. So looking forward to reading this. Might read it after these two. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then I picked up this one, which BookTube made me buy it. BookTok made me buy it. This is The Inheritance of Coradia Orcadia. Orcadia Davina. And this is by Zoradia Cordova. So she is a Latin American um, author and I, it's, I'm new to her. I'm not new to Ya or CJ Tudor. I'm new to Brian Washington, the mem uh, memorial. And yes, again, this one has a bit of fantasy in it. Um, a spellbinding tale of magic that is woven across generations. Readers will be captivated, captivated by the charismatic and unforgettable Montoya family. Um, the Montoyas are used to a life without explanations, but when their matriarch invites them to her funeral, they hope to learn the secrets that she has held onto so tightly their whole lives. Instead, um, Orcadia Divina is transformed into a Sibeca tree, her limbs stretching into roots and branches, leaving her family with more questions than answers. Seven years later, her gifts have manifested in many ways for Marima, Ray, and Rhiannon. Um, granting them unexpected blessings. But soon, a hidden figure begins to tear through their family tree, seeking to destroy Orcadia's line. Determined to save uh, their family and uncover the truth behind their inheritance, they travel to Ecuador, to the place where Orcadia buried her secrets and broken promises and never looked back. What? <laughs> so exciting. I might just read this one. I don't know, but I feel like this one is going to be too, too exciting. <laughs> I don't know. But the cover is awesome as well. I was really, really attracted to this cover. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. Before I continue, I'm going to take a loo break and a pause me break, and I'll be back. 
Just now. Just now. Just now. I see me happy, Muntuami. Ow. That hurt. Okay, so I took a little bit of a five minute break. But, so, as you can tell, I'm drinking a new gin now. <laughs> so, this is not something that I normally talk about on my channel, but um i i've been getting a lot of comments when i do my reels when i'm out and about and all of that like oh you seem so much happier and all of that and my friends have just been on me about how i just need to acknowledge what is and i was dared to actually say it in a video that okay it seems like I am kind of taken now. I'm off the market. <sighs> it's really hard for me to talk about things like this, so I'm not really going to go into too much detail about that. All I can say is that, yes, I guess I'm off the market. But, do you know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this whole thing and i think i will do a video a standalone video where i talk about just touch highlight on some of the things that i went through in my previous relationship that have become triggers in my current one and it's really been difficult it's really been hard to navigate through that and i feel like i'm not the only one with the struggle I feel like a lot of us, when you've been through a really tough, difficult relationship and then you take some time off where you become a savage, where you become a thug like me, uh, that when you enter into a relationship with someone new, uh, well, he's not really new, but when you enter into a relationship with someone new, it's, it's, um, those things are going to crop up from time to time where you're going to have those triggers where, you know, <sighs> you remember that in your previous relationship this would happen and it would make you feel a certain type of way and you'd start guessing and assuming and getting in your head about things things that actually aren't really happening but you would assume what ah you yeah, wonder now that he's not answering his phone this and this is happening oh, da, 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 oh, da, da. so um i think maybe i'll talk about that maybe in this vlog later on in this vlog or maybe um, in a standalone video, I don't know, but I have been, uh, really in a good place in terms of my personal life. Um, in terms of, you know, like the person that I laugh with. Okay. The person that you pillow talk with. Okay. The person that you do all the things with. Okay. So I'm in a really good place with regards to that. But I have also learned a couple of things about myself um, that I am working on. And I'm thankful that I am with somebody who understands that. And we've had uh, multiple chats about things that trigger me and about uh, things that just don't sit right with me and all of that. And how we can both help each other to, you know, make it easier on the both of us which 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 is a really mature and uh, responsible way to address a relationship or come towards a relationship especially a new one um so that that that's pretty cool um there isn't really that much to learn about this person because i've known him for maybe about eight nine years at this point um and we were together in our in our early 20s and then stuff happened and i think we were not ready um and there were just so many things that now we're both in a place where we can uh, give ourselves fully to this and wanting to make it work and it's more fruitful because of that so yes i do do reels because i go out uh, quite a bit now um with him even though there are many instances where i don't film when i'm with him um even when i went through the mental breakdown that i had uh his place became that space of uh solitude like it became it became somewhat of a retreat for me because i really wanted to get out of my own space i needed to get out of this place 
and disappear for like two or three days. And he was just like, okay, come over. So that, that was nice. So, you know, also being with somebody who understands that you have mental health struggles and you have, um, I don't like to use issues, the word issues. So I often go with struggles, uh, being with somebody who understands that and is, uh, approaches that softly is, is so refreshing and so new to me. Um, so yeah, if you do follow me on my social media, you will have seen either tweets or Instagram reels or whatever where I've been out and about and all of that. And, um, I still exercise the choice to keep him off the camera, not only, uh, because of his job, but also because of, um, just keeping the privacy. I am a little bit more open about, um, just being in a happier place and being in a, in a relationship where I am incredibly happy at this point. Um, this will be done fucking up. How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? Um, but you know, what do you even mean? Right. But, uh, so it's, it's, it's really refreshing. That's the one, there are a few good things and, and, and that are happening in my life right now. If a lot of things that I, I am grateful for, but there are a lot of things that are weighing on me so much, uh, mentally that are just really difficult for me to get on with right now. So I'm trying to, one of the biggest things for me right now is to protect my peace. That's one of the biggest things right now. Uh, my peace has been disturbed over the last couple of weeks, month or so. It's been disturbed quite frequently and nothing that I caused, it's just things that happen and they cause a ripple in uh, my peaceful frame of uh, mind and, 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 and uh, life rather. So uh, I'm I'm holding on to the things that bring me peace, to the people who bring me peace. That's why I spend a lot of time with my sister. I speak to her quite a lot and I spend a lot of time with my friends and I also spend a lot of time with him as well because these are the things that are bringing me a lot of peace right now. As much as there are so many other things that are just fuck shit. Yeah, I understand. So, uh, but aside from that, yes, um, I am in a new commitment at this point, which <laughs> it's so weird saying that because I'm a thug. Okay. We don't say things like this. So now what I'm going to do is probably prepare the prosciutto pasta. I've decided that's what I'm going to go with. Um, reason being, I'm going to make it now. It is five o'clock right now, which is typically early for me to start preparing a pasta. However, uh, we have low shedding in this country. And I think around seven o'clock, eight o'clock, I'm going to be experiencing low shedding. So I think to get this pasta done in the right light, when there's still power and there's still natural light and outside light, it's best to just prepare it now and have an early dinner and keep it moving. Um, and then maybe I'll touch base a little bit later. So here we go. We've got our ingredients here. We've got the prosciutto. We've got the white sauce, which is uh, great because it's easy. It's quick. I'm just going to throw it in there. We've got penne pasta. This is whole wheat penne pasta, which is great if you are watching your waist. Okay. We've got uh, half a, what do you call this thing? Robot pepper spring onion and parsley. That's honestly all you need. That's it. Now we're going to prepare this stuff. We're going to chop it up. I'm going to play some music. Okay. All right. So we're going to prepare that stuff, chop it up. I'm going to play some music in this portion of the video. So you need to follow along with what I'm doing because explaining it is going to take forever and time is not on my side. And also the reason why I picked this up is because it is during the week. I'm not trying to make white sauce. You can miss me. I never do actually. I'm not even going to lie. So I'm going to be listening to music while I cut all the stuff up so that you guys can see. And in the meantime, I'm going to get my pasta going so that we can throw it in this pan 
when we are done. Let's get on to it. Nothing is right with that. Picking up pieces of something that doesn't matter. You kept fighting, kept smiling. was that 15 20 minutes done so i'm gonna taste it for you guys okay but i have done something very similar before i just added uh the red from the robot peppers but that's pretty much how i roll with it you know uh i hope you guys enjoy it um i will try and list in all the ingredients that i used in the video so that you can see them uh, but for the most part, it's done. It's green. It's healthy. Uh, there's a lot of greens in here. So I understand if you don't want to add as many greens. I really enjoy my pasta with parsley as well. Parsley. So let's give it a shot, shall we? <laughs> yep. 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 Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So what I did to the cream, the cream from Woolies does have salt in it. So what I did is while it was busy simmering away, I added a little bit of milk to it to dilute the amount of salt and also just make it a little bit more creamier. And that did just, just the trick. Lots of flavors. Um, I do not recommend that you add salt to the pasta because the prosciutto is salty in and of its own. So you don't have to do that. But God, mmm, uh, mmm. Oh man, this is restaurant board stuff, man. Mm. And I made um, enough for three servings for somebody who takes small portions like I do 
um, but if you have somebody who takes bigger portions then you can add a little bit more but I made enough for three servings just in case just in case I feel like having it tomorrow for um, oh man hang on mm. Mm. Sweetie, <laughs> I'm gonna finish my plate right here, right here. It's so good, and um, it'd be nice with wine, but it doesn't matter. Um, I like my pasta al dente. Palisa knows this. I do not like my pasta overly soft. I still need to feel a bit of firmness to my pasta. I really enjoy it that way. That's why I never keep it on the stove top for too long. Um, right now, perfectly al dente. I think I had it on there for six, seven minutes, and that's it. And you take it out, and it's ready to go. Huh. Mm, mm. So I'm going to tidy up here. Um, preferably relax. You could see that I was shooting with my phone at the same time because I'm I'm doing a reel for this one as well. Mwah! It's perfect. It's one of the best dishes I've made on this channel. Really, really impressed with this. And you know I wouldn't tell you it's one of the best dishes I made if I knew that it was crappy. Okay? So, that's that on that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, it's the next day. I'm about to remove my makeup because, wow, it's been a long day. I uh, hope you guys are well. I spend most of my morning um, recording uh, because I didn't go into work today because there wasn't power in uh, that area for the whole day because they were doing some sort of electrical maintenance thing, whatever. Uh, so I didn't go into work today, so I capitalized on that. <laughs> And I decided to record and started recording around 11, 12, quarter to 12, maybe somewhere around there. Started recording at that time and finished at around 4. And then my friend called me. She's kind of going through some things and I had to just be a friend. I filmed four videos today. <laughs> Freaking exhausted. Uh, the last video that I was filming was I candid with Kat. So I've had a couple of drinks. I haven't even eaten yet, which is wild. Don't be me. Don't do what I did. Uh, <clears throat> but I am going to eat now after I, I take off this makeup and actually relax and unwind. Uh, the Netflix movie Happiness is a Four Letter Word. The sequel to it is out now. On Netflix and I might just watch that because I feel like today 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 was a very productive day and I can afford to give myself some time to just relax and unwind a little bit for me it was a complete look at these lashes it's so pretty I got thick mouth uh, it was a complete full day of great recordings that I am proud of. Um, I spoke pretty well in each recording. I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. And um, now I can actually relax, unwind. My lipstick has smeared off because I've been drinking my drink, girl. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, I can relax and unwind a little. Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all